Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a night routine. So I'm going to be showing you how I get ready for bed on a typical day when I am in class. So usually my afternoon starts off by having lunch with one of my best friends and this is one of my favorite times when we just get to catch up and talk about life. So then we go to class and today I only had one class that was a seminar. So after class I like to go to the library and just do some more work. So here I'm doing some more readings, um, researching for papers, and also preparing for presentations. I finished up work around 5, 5.30, so then I head home. Today was a laundry day for me. So the first thing I did was a load of laundry and while that's going on, I decided to also make myself some dinner. So I usually try to eat pretty healthy, but today was an instant noodle kind of day. I have no idea what flavor this is. I think it's like beef with pickled cabbages, which I kind of just leave out, but I also love adding an egg to my instant noodles. Wow, it really makes me feel like a chef. My sister kept me company while I ate dinner and then afterwards I decided to chill on the couch and do some more reading. So here I'm reading Leonardo DiCaprio. No. <laughs> So here I'm reading Leonardo da Vinci, so I decided to just read that and chill on the couch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what are we gonna do right now, Sam? We're going to do some more interview practice. So we're going to do two minutes of reading the interview prompt and then I get seven minutes to answer. I want you all to thank you. You're choosing one? Yeah, I'm not zooming in properly. Whoa. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my gosh, it's not it's not doing it properly. I'm sorry. I think you're not doing it properly. Well I, I don't question me. Alright, three, two, one, go. we are introduced to a fellow citizen of Alberta who has a concern about these executive yearly fiscals which is different from the standard fiscals in part because there are a variety of additional tests that the patient would have to pay for out of pocket.
Was it a good answer? Uh, which one? Like the one I just answered. The one like the whole thing. Like the whole thing, as in like the whole thing. Yeah, like my whole answer. answer. Like all of it. Oh my god! Yeah. Was it like? Did you think my delivery was okay? I feel like. Were it. my points strong? I mean. Did you understand like, what I mean? Yeah. Did I express myself effectively? Okay. You indirectly and directly answered a bunch of the probing questions that went okay. on. Okay, let's let's do a second question. Uh, questions. Uh, empty page. Time to look for a picture. Something you can help me with though is explaining what oh my god, what was it? Un unsupervised fuzzy clustering. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Oh. Okay, so I have one more question. So in the <laughs> So in the Wikipedia page I read, it said that you the researcher or the experimenter can control the number of parameters that are analyzed to determine the similarity between points? Okay. Hey, bye. Bye, sleep well. See ya, bye. Bye. Bye, love you. <laughs> love you too. You hang up first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so it is getting pretty late, so I'm gonna take a quick shower and then get ready for bed. I don't always shower at night, but sometimes it's the only time that I really get a chance to. So my skincare routine involves starting off with a toner. This is a hydrating toner by Fresh, and it smells like roses. I like to just soak my skin with that, let it sink in. I always put on a eye cream, and this is the Banana Bright Eye Cream by Ole Henriksen. So I just very gently tap that all over my eyes, and then I go in with moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer that I religiously use is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream. And finally, at night, I also like to use some sort of serum or oil. So one that I've been using for years is the Sunday Riley Luna Night Oil, which I am running low on, but surprisingly, it's lasted me a really long time. It's been really cold and dry here in Canada, so I have been using a body moisturizer by Humankind, and I like to put this just kind of on my arms, on my hands, as well as my neck and decollete area. And then finally, to kind of end off the night, I like to go through my planner and just plan out the next few days, make sure that I'm staying on top of things and making a to-do list for the next day. I thought I would give a quick little update in this video after I put on some lip balm. I also finished kind of the big things on my priority list this week. So I had my presentation yesterday, which went really well. Super happy with my presentation. And then today I had my midterm, did my best in, and I feel satisfied with how I feel like I did on this midterm. So that means I've been able to cross a lot of really big things off of my list. And I also did a lot of work this morning. So I don't really have a lot of things on my to-do list today. So, there's also no productive study clips of me tonight. <laughs> Basically, I'm just ready to head to bed, <laughs> like right now. I'm gonna take some time to do some much needed self-care and do something which I personally feel to be very fulfilling, and that is to read. So, I am still reading Leonardo da Vinci. This is where I am, this is how much I still need to read. So, I'm still reading this. This is my Tuesday night, me and Leo. Hmm.
So that is the end of my night routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.